beginning it already got cut off <laughs> i need to practice this y'all my name is tracy with scrappy's rustics today we're going to do a faux terracotta look technique i've had this little guy for i don't know how long picked him up at the thrift store a while back i just like the shape of it the weight of it you know one of those things you just you know you like it but you have no idea what you're going to do with it and then just one day bam an idea appears inspiration comes about you in the funniest ways and let me tell you what this inspiration came from me um from our private group on wednesday I just took out terracotta paint and I mixed it in with some plaster and then I painted it and I thought, you know what? I want to do some terracotta. So that's where this inspiration came from. I haven't been able to stop thinking about it. So that's where this became. Then I thought, excuse me, let me hit this little bubble here to uh, see our little chatty chat. <laughs> um, so then I thought it's, you know, it's kind of plain. It's nice. It's, you know, somebody made it. Somebody handmade it. And um, I thought it needed a little something. I was on the fence. So this is from the Olive Crest. Um, and I stuck a number five in there. Five's my number. Um, my birthday's five, five, Cinco de Mayo. Oh, so uh, that's where that five came from. And um, hey, Claudia. So this, I, this is still wet. So this is the Olive Crest. When I first saw this mold, I carried this mold. I'm an IOD stockist. I was like, eh, it's not for me. I use this mold probably more than any other mold. I don't, sometimes things grow on you at first. You're like, eh, but then all of a sudden you like them. Hey, Mary, thank you ladies for being here. It's early, right? Look at me, <laughs> daytime. Um, so I ended up using that. I was going to use the Hummingbird because I love the Hummingbird. Look how good she is. This is DuPont, no, DuPont, Dewdrop Pond, <laughs> DuPont. Um, hey, Kim, how are you? Um, it's, it's uh, afternoon. It's afternoon. Um, yes, if you guys could hit the like button, share, you might have to turn your phone or tap the screen to get the little toolbars or whatever. If you could do all the things, just, you know, let everybody know it's, it's a good time over here. Um, so when the clay, I put, I glued the, the mold on and then I just, imp no, actually I imprinted the five before I glued it on and it was super simple. Um, uh, Beth, hey Beth, um, <laughs> it is, and I used, um, this, this is the letterpress because it has like a bunch of different sizes of fonts, y'all, this is probably the, the best bang for your buck as far as the stamps go, just because you get so much, it, there's numbers with every font, I think it's five different, one, two, is it five, one, two, or is it four, is it three, I don't know, oh, you get letter and upper, one, two, three, or five. Five? Four or five. I don't know. Hey, Shonda, how are you? Finished filing your taxes. You need a drink? I bet. Beth, Beth, is that Beth with surgery, Beth? <sighs> Y'all, it's hot. I'm hot. The, the weather's crazy around. I gotta put this in an envelope. This is the first envelope I've ever used. Um, Because my A keeps falling out. <laughs> a? My freaking A's keeps falling out, and I don't want to lose my A, A, because then that would be bad. I don't know why it does not... Look how small it is. I saw it sitting here on the table. I was like, where the heck, what the heck, where did that come from? So I'm gonna contain these beasts. <laughs> I'm gonna contain them. Yes, if you guys could, I know when I watch live or whatever I do, if I turn my phone for a second, a bunch of tools stuff will come up and um, that will give you the option to thumbs up and share and all that. Oh, it only goes in one way. Oh, oh this is nice. These are nice. Oh, it's the other bath. I knew that. I was just testing you, Beth. Hey, Desiree. Look how nice that is, y'all. That's important because you lose a letter. That's who wants to buy a whole nother thing for an A? Like, look, it's already falling out again. <laughs> it does not want to stay. So anyways, I didn't use the hummingbird because I thought because the way this is shaped, I thought it would kind of stretch it out. So I don't know. I got to use him. And then I was going to use this, but I don't know. You know, you know how I do. Hey, you know how I do. Hey, Lisa. Um, and Kim, it's 80 in Michigan. Oh, good for you guys. That's nice, right? I think like 78, 80 during the day and 60s at night. Oh, that's like, so I already cleaned this with alcohol. I left it out to fill it up and I forgot to bring it in the house. So there's that. All right. So that's all I did. This was from the thrift store. If you guys see something you like, like I always say, when you, you know, we can't win all our crafts. It's just impossible. You're never going to love, like really love everything that you make. Sometimes it'd be all right, but sometimes you're like, oh man, that's it. Sometimes like, meh. <laughs> so I feel like a lot of times if you start out with something that you're attracted to, chances are your craft will just develop. I've had this forever. Um, <laughs> what, is, what kind of emoji is that, Claudia? 
Get sunglasses with a, I can't see. Um, so this, I, I can't remember how much it was, but it's got a nice weight to it. There's no genie or anything in it. No cash. Smells all right. <laughs> it smells all right. So I just wiped this down with alcohol, glued that bad boy on. I just did it, um, I don't know, a couple hours ago, but it's actually really, it's good. You know me, I don't like to uh, use my things. I don't like to mess with my clay when it's not set up, but this is good. So we're going to make this faux terracotta because this blue is okay, but you know, that's a big old cork. So I have three terracottas. Now there's a couple ways you can do this. I have seen um, where you can just paint this with terracotta, whatever color you have. And um, it is a pretty cool jug. And you can like sprinkle some flour on there and the flour just kind of gives it that little bit of texture and highlights. That looks okay. Um, I feel like I'm, cut, I'm crooked as heck. It's hard to tell. I'm backwards, but I'm not backwards. Um, but it's whatever kind of look you're going for. You can even, there's even the terracotta that isn't terracotta color. It's more like a tan. You can do the same technique with whatever colors you want. Um, you can do like a moss. You could do the tans and the browns or the beiges. Um, or you could use a true terracotta. Now, everybody's idea of terracotta is a little different. These are three different paints and it's three different colors. So this is the pop of color, um, craft smart, and then whenever this one is folk art. So whatever, you know, you can see the big difference in colors. Um, now this all came about, hey, and you guys, thank you so much for being here. Um, this was inspired, like I tell you guys, insp inspiration comes from everywhere, anywhere, from a little thing to a big thing to who knows what. Um, Wednesday in our private class, we did some plaster of Paris and I painted it on here and um, I love it. Like I mixed it in with one of the plasters. It came out kind of peachy. But I haven't been able to stop thinking about it since I painted it on here. Um, but tell me, how beautiful does that blue go with that terracotta? Like, I can't get over that. I would have never put those two colors together ever, ever. I don't even know what color blue that is, actually. I'll have to look. I don't know what color, but I think those look so great together. Christina, what's my favorite resin? Um, did you see all the flannel shirts? I did. I did, Kim. I saw them all. She scored big time. Um... Christina, it depends. Um, I usually use the Amazing Casting Resin in the fast, the fast resin. However, I ordered that just recently, and they sent me another brand, which seems to be pretty decent. Um, luckily, because they sent me a crap ton of it. Um, oh, I guess it's amazing. Huh, it's just a different box. But it is also amazing, amazing casting resin. Um, yeah, so is the other stuff. It must be a new branded box. I don't know. This is what I usually use just because of the price, the, the way it works and whatnot. Um, and, oh, here's the other one. This is the, I guess it is the same brand. It's just new. It's just a new box. This is the clear. This one takes 12 hours to set up where that one sets up in 10 minutes. You kind of need both if you're going to be really doing a lot of resin. Um, but if you're doing jewelry and that type of stuff, um, you want to go with the more expensive stuff that's crystal clear. Hootie Hoo Summer, how are you, my friend? Um, uh, uh, Pentart has one um, that's crystal clear, no air bubbles. So it depends. If you're doing jewelry, you want the real good stuff, I would go with that stuff. I get it at Michael's. You can use a coupon. You get rewards and all that stuff. So that's why I go with that that kind. Um, well, uh, I don't know what happened. Are you guys there? Did I lose you? <laughs> Hello. Oh, boy. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Y'all, Starlink's been a real... <laughs> satellite's falling out the sky still. I mean, this is sorry. I don't know what happened. But we we definitely blipped. Um, so what I was saying today, we're going to use the terracotta paint, the baking soda, and white wax. I feel like the white wax is really what gives it that terracotta look. I don't know if you could hear me when I was doing that. And I'm, I chose the folk art. Folk art terracotta is all it says. Acrylic. So yeah. Okay, everybody's good. Woo. Oh, I just busted out in a sweat. My face. I can I'm Y'all, I can I I see some of like oh, you can go through and like pick a thumbnail if you want, a thumbnail picture. And I, I see some of these pictures. I'm like, it's terrible. It's just terrible. But it, at first I was mortified when I very first started doing my lives. I was mortified. Now I think it's hilarious. So um, I'm not measuring. I'm just going to put it in here until, um, I don't know, I get the consistency that I want. 
This is, if you guys haven't used baking soda and paint yet, check, do it. it I mean, it's super inexpensive, um, but do it because it really gives you a cool, um, a cool texture on your, on your piece. I will tell you that every paint reacts to it differently. I'd be surfing today, but the hubs is with me. He's not fine. <laughs> I'll be tell him to get on the ship, get on the board, on the board, the ship there, Shonda. Oh, that's too bad. That's too bad. My husband and I were just talking about, I've got to, y'all, I've got to get it. I've been, so I allowed myself some grace and I allowed, I don't think I made enough, but whatever. Um, you know, as much as we accomplished in that short amount of time, building the shed and moving here and da da da, um, I gave myself some time to enjoy it. And um, I mean, I'm still doing a lot of, um, uh, you know, catching up. But anyways, but I got to get on this. I got to get on this auction stuff. Y'all have so much stuff, like antique stuff and made stuff. And so what I think I'm going to do, I got to get it together first before I go like saying anything but i think what i'm gonna do is every other thursday no every thursday have a live auction only do like 20 items nothing crazy 15 20 items like one week do the crafts that i made and the next week do like thrifted and antique stuff something like that um because i'm ready to go i'm ready to go pick i'm ready to go get to bring some new stuff but i can't do that until i get rid of the other stuff and i got a lot of it and you guys are gonna go cool, cool, cool bananas over some of it um hey Lori. all right so that's all i made I don't know if it's enough, but we're, that's what we're going to start with. And you want to put it on, um, this brush is kind of, kind of, um, not thin. You want to put it on not thin, uh, thickish. If you want it real thick and you want a lot of texture, do a, use a chip brush and do a bap bap kind of motion. Um, but let's just see. Let's just see what we got. See, that looks to me already. There we go with blue and terracotta again. I don't know why I look, I'm attracted to that. What would I paint those two colors? I don't, I have no idea. I have no idea, <laughs> but I like them together. And I would have never in a million years chose those two colors. It's funny how things happen. Happy accidents. Yeah, so I need to get on the, I need to get on the bus here and you know, but it's just, you know, it's a lot. You gotta get it organized, ready to go. Um, yeah, yeah, I, I love doing them. They're a lot of work, but it's fun. And and really, I love, love, love to go picking. That's like my ultimate favorite thing to do. And I don't know, it's nice to be able to, a lot of people don't have, um, um, has it as tech, like it does. A lot of people don't have access to, um, you know, certain things, because I know, just the difference between three hours here and three hours at our other place. You can't find like spools and antique stuff like at our Goodwills and thrift stores down there. I mean, unless it's like an antique place. Um, but it's it's amazing how different. Um, this is obviously I should well, I should have I should have done one coat and then went over this, but I didn't. So um <laughs> love auctions. Um yeah, so I don't know. I just it that's what I love. My husband loves it. I love it. I feel like it's something we can do together. Um, it's just fun. It's just fun. I feel like, like I'm a shopping for somebody else. Do your auction soon. As you can. Uh, uh, oh, so I looked at the Marion flea market and I forget it's quite a ways from us. It's quite a ways from us. I forget what it was that I ended up looking at a bunch of other and, and then you remember, you know, you don't know what you looked at. I'll have to look again. I want to say it was like an hour and 45 or two hours, which isn't, you know, not that we can't go there. I probably, I can't get up in the morning. I'm trying y'all today. I got up at 11. I just am not just going to take time. That's all. Like I said, I'll, I'll never probably be a 6 a.m. person, but I'm getting there. I'm getting there. At least uh, 11 is better than, you know, 132. I'm slowly getting there. That's when I used to wake up. But then I had to work all night too. So if I didn't sleep that late, then I suffered terribly <laughs> that night. Oh, I can't believe I could almost have tears in my eyes that I, I just cannot believe I this is my life. Like it's just so crazy to me. Oh, guess what we found today? This is so crazy. I had no idea. I never thought of it. Whatever. Um, it's two and a half hours from us and you live in Spring Hill, but it's big. Huh, we'll have to, yeah, I'll have to look again. 
I want to say it was an hour and 45. Um, anyhow, Ron and I took the four wheelers out, um, a couple weeks ago, like two or three weeks ago. And at the end of the driveway at our mailbox is this weird tree. Um, it has just, it, it's like no other tree on the property or any tree I've ever seen actually. And it had these little, they look like raspberries. I said, is that a raspberry tree? It was a tree. Like I never heard of a raspberry tree, but they look like raspberries, but they were kind of, um, oval shaped. So he's like, no, nah, I don't think so. Kind of blew me off. <laughs> and then I was like, well, maybe there's some kind of flower that's going to bud. Um, and I went out to the um, mailbox today and I looked down and I see these giant raspberries. And I'm like, what the hell? <laughs> like, so I look up, sure shooting, that tree has got giant, but they're weird looking. They're, they're long. It's a mulberry tree, Mary. Hey, Diana. It's a mulberry tree. So I pick one. Y'all, my fingers, right, well, it came off. I did the dishes, but it stained my fingers and I only grabbed the tip of it. So I was thinking, wow, man, that would make some awesome, I better paint that last. That would make some awesome uh, dye. Hey, Kathleen. Um, so I told Ron and we went out there. I think he's out there right now picking them. <laughs> I think he's out there right, because he just got up from his nap. And he said, when I get up, I'm going to go pick them. <laughs> so... Oh, so exciting. They're a little bit, they're, they're in all different stages. There's like some small ones and, um, uh, some green ones, some red ones, but the, the real dark, dark, almost black ones are what's ripe. And oh my God, they're so good. He took a bite and it like turned his teeth black and his top face, but it, it didn't. I thought it was going to stain his face, but he was, he, it was good. Bush. I, or a mulberry tree. I, I don't know. Birds get drunk on the berries before they're, oh, I don't know. I could see that. And the funny thing is, is he just trimmed that tree up and didn't even realize what it was. But they're funny. They're funny. They're like, they look like a raspberry, but longer and skinnier. And there was a white caterpillar, like an albino caterpillar crawling on it. I've never seen a, like, pure white um mulberry pa hey nancy i didn't see you sneak on um i was looking up jam uh mulberry jam he's like i oh, will just eat them i was like all right well that works too that was just enough for one coat obviously he's gonna need another coat and i gotta put a little more paint in the front there um but uh yeah i was, I was really surprised and the funny thing is, is you know how some trees have like, um, I guess not mold, but they're, you know, kind of looks like mold, like spots of white or whatever. This one has spots of white and then it has, it looks like somebody took a stamp because they're all similar, just bigger, different sizes. It looks like somebody took a stamp with the berry juice and made one with, with a red in the middle. It's so weird. Oh, they'd be good on ice. Oh, I got to tell him that because, see, I don't like stuff in my ice cream. I just like ice cream. Like, I'm not a cake and ice cream person or at apple or pie and ice cream like they got to be separate uh you get a mulberry tree bush and had to remove it because the birds would oh dude it's not so they really do get drunk that's funny maybe oh well we got a weird hummingbird we got a hummingbird acting weird but they wouldn't eat those they stain everything i was totally kathleen i was the minute it stained my fingers i was instantly thinking oh my god i gotta stain some fabric with this it was a really pretty like light kind of like a lavender color but when the husband ate it it was it was like oh my god like really dark he ate a really dark one though oh well like avocados though that's a beautiful color you would never think avocado would be like a pink but yeah <laughs> yeah Ooh. um this tends to dry quicker too because um of the baking soda in there so you can already, you can see the brush marks. You want to see that because I feel like that's what gives it the terracotta type look. Um, lemon juice will clean your hands. Oh, oh, it came off. Just up your eyes. Yes, Mary. <laughs> yes. Hey, Tanya. How are you, my friend? Happy Friday. Happy weekend. Um, what the heck was I going to say? Yeah, I was so excited. I was so excited. The little things. We've been here nine years, y'all. We didn't know that tree was there. <laughs> we did not know that. I mean, we knew it was there, but we didn't know what it was. Didn't know what it was. Yeah, we got this hummingbird that 
he's weird. Every time he comes up, I don't know if he's little or whatever, when he comes up, like the feeder's up here, he'll, he'll stop right here and hover and, and then go around the back of the, I don't know, he's just acting weird. I don't know if he bumped his head. It, oh, dye some rice papers. I might try that. I might try that. Um, so as I was saying, you can do this same exact technique. You know when you go to like Walmart and they have the terracotta pots, but then they have like the tan ones or grayish ones. Um, sometimes they'll have the greenish ones. So you can do the same exact thing we're gonna do here today with the baking soda and whatever color paint you want. Um, and then the white wax and you'll get that same look if you don't want terracotta color. Kids are to try. Damn. Very, oh my goodness, I bet it would stain the floors. I couldn't believe, I didn't even touch the very, I touched the stem and it stained my two fingers. I was, I was shocked. I put it on the mail, <laughs> put it on the mail. And then I brought it to him and he's like, what? I was like, what is this? He's, and he knew it was a, mul a mulberry immediately. I, I had no idea. I've never eaten a mulberry. I have mulberry rice paper. <laughs> The esme or esme, esme, it's a bunch of little tiny flowers. That's mulberry paper. All right, that's dry enough. No, it's not. It's a little wet right here. Oh, oh it's wet right there. I just stuck my finger in it. See, I just stuck my finger and it. it's wet around the edges, but it's, it's dry on the top. <laughs> not, not dry there. It doesn't look like this. I don't need, this paper is annoying the crap out of me. There we go. Get on out of here. <sighs> Let me flip it. There we go. Now we're dry as butt. Look at the big mar I just put in it. Somebody who ever made this name is C. C. Luckily ours is like at, on the road. It's at the road. It's literally at our mailbox. At our, but it's funny that they're all at so many different stages of, which is good because, I mean, how many can you pick at once? Plus, you gotta pick them. I mean, you gotta like pick them. They're way up high. Like he's gonna. I. He said, "Well, how am I gonna get those?" I said, "Well," he said, "A-frame ladder." I said, "Why don't you just pull your, your truck in there, stand in the bed of your truck, because that's how high they are." Then he was looking up the prices of mulberry trees, and like a fourteen-foot mulberry tree was like five hundred, four hundred bucks or something like that. I was like, "Holy crap!" Fruit trees very expensive. Very expensive. So right now we have blueberry, our blueberry tree bush I planted when we first moved in here. Book face is acting fun. I was gonna go on book face. I, I had a dream about doing a shabby heart. I've done them before, but I don't know why. I don't know why. So that's probably what I'm gonna do. Um, oh, I missed that whole part. Um, so, Nine, with the first year we, we moved in here. So it's been like eight years. I gotta make more. It's been like eight years. Um, I planted a blueberry bush. It never died, but it never did anything. Never really grew. It's just kind of there. Well, this year it's like three times its size. It's got blueberries. Um, it's got, we've got strawberries, cucumbers, tomatoes, peppers, um, eggplant. Um, a lot of different tomatoes. I don't like tomatoes, unfortunately. Uh, you'll never need to buy one. Birds will spread the seeds. You, you would think, you would think, well, the blueberry, I got way too much uh, stuff in here. The blueberry tree, we had to net it because the birds were plucking it off. One day the chickens were jumping up. Like, I didn't even know chickens could jump that high. They were ju <laughs> jumping, plucking them off. Plucking them off the bush. I was like, no. I think what else the heck we have? I don't know. There's a lot going on here. <laughs> a lot going on. Yeah, so when you put the um, baking soda in, it's really going to depend on your paint. Um, chalk paint, acrylic paint, you know, it's going to it's gonna act differently. Clay-based paint, mineral paint, paint, it's all going to act differently. So I would just suggest starting with a little bit and just add it until you get the texture that you're, you like. There's no really rules. No rules. Just... Just, just go with it. Just go, go with it. I'm just gonna wipe that off. There we go. 
That's good. That's good. That's not going to work. All right. I should have... Uh, you know what? Oh, my brush is weird. My brush is... It's stiff. I'm going to... need to get some paint in here. I don't want to fill up my hole like I... I filled up part of my five with this stuff. Oh. My five is... What the heck? My terracotta's dancing. Take a pic of the tree and Google it. We did. Um, well, actually, when I... When I came up with the berry, he said, it's a mulberry. I said, really? And he Googled it, and it, it was. It was. It was a mulberry. It even has, like, it's very distinctive. It, it doesn't look like anything else that I've seen. Even the leaves are distinctive. The tree trunk's even dis distinctive. So, um, but they haven't yet. I mean, they... If the birds are eating them, they're not pooping them out. They're not, they're not growing everywhere. It's the only one that we're aware of. It doesn't mean that there aren't more, but it doesn't mean there aren't. Man, why is this taking so much paint? What is going on here? You all see this? This is like, doesn't want to fill in. Doesn't want to fill in. There we go. Mulberry tree. Uh, paint is dance. It was. You see it? It was moving and grooving. Y'all, Starling's been acting crazy. I couldn't get any of the TVs to connect last night. Oh, what the heck's happening? I did finish the curtains, though, finally. I gotta put a video together because it's, you know, it took me weeks. <laughs> well, not weeks, but, you know, I did a little bit of here and there. Man, I love them. I did one, one of the drop cloths. Um, I did the bird one live. I don't know if it was Facebook or here. I think it was on, on YouTube. Um, and then I just did the rest, um, pre-recorded, but the last one that I did, I saved a piece of, cause I ha actually have two different colors, two different kinds of drop cloth. So, um, one was from Home Depot, one was from Lowe's or something like that. Anyways, I saved a, a swatch, um, from one of them that matched and I cut out, um, patches and frayed them all. And I used the crockery stamp. Oh my God, I love it. So it's the, I keep saying curtains, but they're just valance, valances. And um, I, I glued the patches um, on the valance. It came out, I love it. I just love it. It's on the back door. Really hard to get pictures of big stuff like that. But um, I got them laid out on the floor. But you know, they look better all bunched up. But um, so I, I used the fabric glue to put them on. Not, not a lot, just a a small bead and then I was like oh man uh, I didn't heat set the stamp you know in case we want to wash them so I was like well I'm just gonna do it man I didn't never really see again happy accident um, so when I ironed over the patches it really flattened out. not that it was really bumpy to begin with but the you know you could kind of feel the, the thin bead of the fabric glue flatten it right out like a panty cake so i was like all right so they look really really good so that's a good trick to know if you're using that fabric glue if you do get it lumpy or you want it flat flat just totally iron it it didn't it didn't push through the other side it didn't do anything it just flattened it right out so that was kind of cool this top isn't it's damp and i'm peeling it's peeling off my when my every time i touch it so I'm going to have to dry this and then go back to the top. See the difference? This coat will do it for sure. For sure, for sure. Except for I peeled it off with my finger. <laughs> but this is glass, so, you know, like anything, if the undercoat isn't dry, it's just going to take off the top coat you just put on. This will come alive when we add the white wax. If you don't have white wax or you don't like the white wax look, you can use... Um, flour and you're supposed to use the flour when your paint is a little bit damp so you can kind of move it around um i would say if you forget you know you didn't do it when it was wet or whatever maybe you could just mist mist your piece with a um a mister bottle and then add the not not wet it because it's flour you don't want it to turn into yuck but you want it to have some movement you don't want just a big blob of flour on there I wonder if baking soda would work. That that didn't make like any. What? What am I doing? I don't function well in the day. 
That's all I made. Like what the, good Lord. Come on, Trace. Jesus, I don't make too much. Oh, I'm having issues. Uh, uh, oh, that's me too much. Let's see what that does. Good grief. Not that hard. <laughs> Not that hard. Oh, any big plans for this weekend, anybody? Not me. No big plans. No big plans. Catch up on some stuff. I'm going to get the auction, some auction stuff. At least together in one room. Uh, this works. At least I can just throw this in the garbage. Spoon I feel like I have to wash. I do have some... Um, some spoon-like things with uh for the the resin for the resin all right let's get back on track here <laughs> let's get back on track here all right fill in my thumb part i know this isn't really exciting to watch but you could too take diff like we've got three different color terracottas you could put this on you know put it on all one color and then go in with the different colors if you wanted to just do that. Give it just some dimension and texture and variation of color. Um, which would it'll appear to be texture, highs and lows. So really, as you can see, I didn't measure as many times as I mix this paint. I'm sure no two batches are the same, but obviously it doesn't seem to matter at all. Because um, it's all kind of going on cohesively cohesively but we do need this good and dry to wax it we're almost done painting it i promise <laughs> i think i think i think if my fingers would stop pulling it off and i'm gonna have to touch up the stamp but i'm just gonna touch that up with regular paint because i can't seem to get this in here for whatever reason Did I get did I get it on that side? Oh, I think that's good. I'm just gonna get the top. All right, now I can't touch it. Don't touch it. Don't let me touch it. Don't touch it. Can't touch this. Yeah, I've been hang I, I had a dream to do a heart. Isn't that weird? It's the, um, the hearts from Michael's that are, um, they have like <sighs> slats and I have, a, I've made several of them. I've made so many that I made a template because I like to do each slat a different color or not a different color, but a different something and they're shaped funny. So I have cardboard templates that I made. And I'm glad I have them because I would not want to do that every single time. I'll show you what I mean when I do it. When I do it, I'll show you what I mean. Templates are good. Okay. Whew, that was exhausting. I got terracotta on my arm. All right, I'm just going to dry this bad boy. Whoa, look, I shook the table. I didn't know I could do that. I didn't know I did that, actually. I need to go to Walmart. Uh, let her go back on here. I'm probably going to go to Facebook because I haven't been on since Tuesday. I'll try Facebook. I'll try Facebook. I will try. Um, it's funny. I mean, it's not funny, but people, other people are having issue some people are having they can't see comments some can see comments some are blipping some are not like it doesn't there's no rhyme or reason to this madness this heat tool is making me sweat <laughs> i can tell you that much holy smokes this cork probably won't fit back in here now but that's okay i got a whole bunch of corks doesn't really need a cork anyways wasn't do you guys see that um the riser video with that navy blue stain god i love that stain I've been wanting to make that sandwich riser for I cannot tell you how long, but I, I don't know. I just, 
it was never the right moment or the right project or whatever. Um, somebody wrote in the comments, thank you for not using the hot glue <laughs> on the riser. I had to laugh. Because it's true. If you, you try to, I've tried to, anything that's, I mean, anything that's bigger than this, even that's even that's big. If you try to hot glue it all the way around and really get a good adhesion, it usually doesn't work out too good. It's hard to, um, it's hard to, to get you know, hot glue to stick in it when you're trying to do a big, a big area and to get it straight. Um, thank you guys. That, that was fun. I have a whole, I have two more of those. Maybe I should have made a triple sandwich riser. Maybe the next one I'll do two sandwiches because I got two more, two more wooden bead ones. Oh, maybe I could do, see, maybe I could do red, white, and blue, but I only have two. Hmm. I only have two. I don't know if I have any more rounds. I don't know. Yeah, but maybe I need to make a, like a, like a double stuffed, <laughs> double stuffed riser. Oh, I dinged it with my, with my hair tool. Oh boy. That navy blue. Man, I really seriously like want to stain everything, but nothing, I don't really have anything that's navy blue. Like, or would even, I don't know. It's not often they don't like age it up or dry brush or do something. That was just, just pretty by itself. Just pretty by itself. So yesterday I took, um, when we first moved in here, I went buck wild with, actually at both places, with wild colors, lime greens and yellows and purples and turquoises, um, painting pots and, you know, the, um, the trellises, whatever I could get my hands on. So since the hubs has been redoing the garden, making his way around, <clears throat> I was like, it's just a turquoise. It just doesn't look right anymore. So I took a bunch of stuff out of the garden yesterday and spray painted it. It looks so much better. So now I'm going to make my way around and start picking up the, the lime colored stuff and toning it down a little. Navy blues, reds, whites, blacks, that kind of natural, like more, not that navy blue is natural color, but not so fluorescent. I did it again. All right, we're getting there. I love this already. Love it already. Like I said, if you see something at a thrift store or yard sale or wherever, if you're attracted to it, get it. Yeah, I might not know what the heck you're going to do. Chances are you're not going to know what you're going to do with it. But one day, something will come along and you'll be like, aha, aha. Like, I swear to you, it was Wednesday night just painting that little bit. Or did I paint? I painted this on my own. But we had this out. I don't think I painted. No, I painted that live, the blue. Oh, that was agave. That's what color that is. I want to paint something this color, but it doesn't go with anything. Or these colors. I don't know why that looks so good. I wonder if the, um, the stamp, um, uh, what the heck's the name of that stamp? It's kind of boho-like. Um, IOD stamp. That, those colors might look good with that. Well, the red I'm using, well, one red I'm using is like fire engine red, but I painted over some brown stuff and it really toned it down because I'm really sticking with that Republic red color. I'm trying to anyways. I'm trying to. All right, I think let me flip this guy over. That's what we're, I got to touch up the um, mold, but I'm just going to get a small brush and just paint and do that. But pretty cool looking. You see where it's wet still. But you see the texture? You see it? <laughs> You see, let me get closer. Uh, yeah. Let me let me paint this while I can see the bottom. I can see its bum. You're late. Jane, you don't have to rewatch, girl. How are you? Thanks for joining. What we did was mix some folk art terracotta paint with some baking soda. This was a blue ceramic uh, jug with a cork in it. 
that I picked up thrifting. And that's it. That, that sounds really pitiful that it took me 40 minutes to do what I just said in three seconds. <laughs> oh man, that's funny. Uh, that's how I roll, y'all. That's how I roll. I had to get that spot. It was bugging me. The rooster. <laughs> oh, boy. So the deer are back. We got a pregnant deer. She's by herself. She was out in the swamp last night. And then four deer were across the, the way. And then some other deer by itself that was different. I know it was different because I saw the picture and its snout was like unusually long like like it looked weird it looked really weird really weird really weird i can't believe we have a mulberry all around the mulberry bush the monkey chased it is that what they say monkey chased the weasels is it a mulberry bush kind of mulberry bush i'm gonna go see the hubs he's gonna be like purple looks good it would fit in your house perfectly we were saying that um you know when you go to like walmart or home depot and they have the pot outdoor pots and some of them are like gray or tan or once in a while they'll have green ones um you can do the same exact technique just change the color of your paint um and just you should get the same effect or pretty stinking close can somebody tell me when candles, like candles, pillar candles, went through the freaking roof price-wise? I mean, holy crap. I've been trying to buy, I have one, um, and it was ex it was expensive like six months ago. It's a smelly one. I'm just talking plain, white, boring candle. Man, they are so expensive. Walmart has uh, like a two-pack. It was like $16 or something just crazy. For a plain candle, like, I don't understand what happened. Like, what happened? What happened? Well, Jane, that's good to know because I was just saying to the girls that um, I've got to get my shit together here and <sighs> no more fun time. <laughs> well, not. Nah, let me fun time. But I need to start. I'm going to, I want to, my goal is to have an auction every Thursday. But only like 15, 20 items. Nothing crazy because it's a lot of work. That's reasonable, um, but maybe one week do stuff I made, the next week do stuff antique, thrifted kind of stuff, and just back and forth. So, yeah. Yeah. Oh, and I got my, I'll have to, uh, maybe that's what I'll do on fit. well, shoot. I don't know if I'm going to do that heart tonight or not. I got some, my, um transfer me's in oh my god they're so good i want to show y'all i want to show y'all oh got, there's a lot of them a lot of them and they are cool very cool very very cool and i didn't realize the one i did oh I'll just the one i did the other night i tried to find a stamp someone was saying where i blended the paint if i could do letters to make that blend and i looked through all my stamps and i don't have a small enough letter to try to put a little bit of cream color and do a few letters here and there um, for it to look right. But anyways, I didn't realize that on those types of transfer me things, uh, I got the same bird, but one's looking right and one's looking left. <laughs> no idea. No idea. All right, that's, that's dry. You can even see some of the white variations in there. I thought that was wet, but it's not. I don't know what that is, but that looks pretty cool just like that. Now, now's the time you could add, well, if you're gonna add flour to this, I would mist it. Like you just want it a tiny bit damp, like tiny bit damp if you're gonna use flour because you don't want it to get cakey. But we're gonna use wax, but this baby is hot. Hot. Um, I got the DIY wax and the Antique paste. I think I'm going to use this because it's thinner. Um, I need to get some more. Looks like fluff. Looks like fluff and nutter. Oh, oh dear. Oh, this, <laughs> this is a stiff one. Oh. Boy. 
Oh boy. Some crazy looking brush here. <laughs> this thing's, uh, look at it. Looks like my hair sometimes in the morning. I slept really good last night, like really good. I had to pee so bad though, but I did not want to get out of bed. It started at like five. I was like, oh, you can just hold it a little longer. I made it to like 10. I was pretty good bladder control. <laughs> five hours, but man, I had to go. Like another second, it would have been not good. Not good. But I probably would have slept better had I just gone up and got up and gone. Because it kept waking me up. And the worst is like if you're laying, you're sleeping on your side and then you lay on your back. I don't know about you, but then like your bladder, like, whoa, <laughs> whoa. Um, all right. I'm not putting any clear on this. This is like you can feel how absorbent or not absorbent. Um what's the word I want? Uh porous you can feel how porous this is and it's gonna suck this stuff right up but I feel like the white wax is really this is probably not gonna work too good either because it's so textured um you're not a marshmallow fan you don't like fluff you don't like fluff and udders I feel like this white wax is what gives it the um the terracotta look so to speak I'm gonna start with our stamp start with our stamp Definitely want to get it in the five. Five's my number. Cinco de Mayo. It's my birthday. My birthday. Yo, I'm going to be 51. 51. Okay. I didn't take too much off. So, I just, I don't want to take it all off, but I want variations. I don't want it all white, but I don't want it all... Yeah, that's what we're working. That's the look we're going for. That's the look we're going for. Bad when you're dreaming, you're really bad. Oh, I think that might have happened when I was drunk one time, like long time ago, like long, long time ago. All right, I'm gonna really go heavy around the outside of this, around the outside, around the outside, and then. We'll just go around it haphazardly and that'll be a craft. Now I'm kind of wanting to do one in the cream color and the green color and I kind of want to do every color. <laughs> if you were to put this outside, I would suggest sealing it with a spray sealer or whatever you, um, <laughs> whatever you use, uh, for your outdoor stuff. And if you're gonna use it in the house, I think it'll be fine. Oh, it'll be fine. Fine, fine. Oh, whoa. You just turned 57 in December. 57. Oh, what's going on here? What is that? I don't know what that is. Big chunk of something in there. Around the outside, around the outside. What? What the heck is that? See that? I don't know what that is. What's that? Huh. I, oh, maybe the clay's not dry? Oh, maybe the clay. Oh, I heard something kind of. I don't think the clay's dry. <laughs> Okay, well then I won't mess with that anymore. Let me just get the little heaviness off of here. Little heaviness before it dries. Now you guys, if you wax something and you hate it, like totally hate it, if you just did it, do your best to wipe off as much as you can. If you decide the next day you hate it, Give it a few days to really cure, even a week, and then just paint over it. Um, because, I mean, wax is a resist, but at some point it does cure and harden, and you'll be able to uh, manipulate it. But it just depends what stage of the game it's at. All right, let's do this. Let's do this! This brush is funny but it's working. 
it's working. It's working. Lots of texture. Lots of texture. Love that. Okay, so I'm just kind of doing that. And then we're just going to blend it in, in a sense. Trying to be... Uh, that's the word I want. Um, random? Trying to be random. <laughs> Trying to be random. Uh, hard to be random. Yeah, Mara scored some good flannels. I saw those. I saw those. I showed my husband the other one I made, or we made the other night, and he said, oh, I need one like that with a deer on it. <laughs> I said, okay. All right. Let me find a deer and cough up one of your flannels, and I'll get on it. You know what? I don't even need to decoupage this. I could bleach it and put a... um. Put a silk screen mesh transfer. I got a deer. Oh dear, yeah, that's what I need to do. Hot dog. All right, yeah. I didn't think of that till right now. Okay, so see how it's just kind of there? I'm just kind of we're just blending it in now. If it's not taking off enough or not blending enough for you, just take use a wet rag or a baby wipe or just a damp rag will take more off. if that's what you're wanting. Depends what you're wanting. I think that is more of a terracotta look opposed to leaving it just like that. Maybe, I mean, t preference. Uh, she was gonna send me the one she made originally. She did all kinds of stuff to that thing. Stamped it, stenciled it, but it didn't fit her. She was just making it. Uh, I had a Rico moment. I did, but you know, you could leave it like this. I don't know. I think that's a chip. It is. The blues come through, but I feel like it just kind of comes alive more realistic when it has a little bit of white on it and flower will do the same thing. Like I said, um, just gives it more depth and dimension than just leaving it, you know, plain, but you might like plain. So whatever you fancy, whatever makes you happy. That's what you should do. I do want some more white inside this number five here. Number five. Number five, number five. Oh, that works too, look at that. <sighs> okay. Yeah, that was uh, wet paint, or the clay wasn't totally hardened is what happened there. I think it's what went down. Leroy Brown. I'm gonna go dance around the mulberry bush. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's the little things, y'all. It's the little things in life. All right, I'm happy with that. Stick a cork in it, Ralph. I don't think. Love it? Want to marry it? I like it. That's it. That's a craft. Dollar or thrift store find. A little bit of baking soda, a little bit of paint, a little bit of white wax, a little bit of clay. You don't even have to add the clay. That was just a bonus. That was just a bonus. Um. <laughs> Thank you guys. I appreciate you guys being here. I am most likely going to fire up on the Facebook here. If I, I really wanted to do this um, heart, kind of like old, uh, old, kind of like older with beautiful, so many beautiful scrapbook papers. I want to use those, but potion number five. Yes, this one will make you love me. <laughs> love potion. Thank you, Jane. Um, I just don't know. I got I to gotta get my thoughts together. But uh, hopefully I'll see you soon on Facebook and the book face doesn't act stupid. And uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for your time. I'll see you soon. And if I don't see you, have a great weekend. Stay safe. Bye, guys.